humans on earth thank you for tuning in to my first official youtube video i am so excited to show you this colorful summer makeup look that i have right now and uh, if you want to know how to continue doing this look then keep on watching so i did my eyebrows first off camera but before we get right into the makeup the first thing that we have to do is prep our skin so to prep our skin i'm going to use a little bit of the mario badescu skincare so we're just going to spray that just a little teeny bit onto the face so that it will just give us a, just a little boost of moisture to our skin. Not that much. So then I'm going to go in with the Scandinavia Makeup Spray Oil Control. In the summer, I try to use products that don't have oil in it because it will just help produce more oils and I'm just trying to help best possible to block that out. I like to use a lot of this because it really does help block the oils to come through. Now for the actual primer, I am using the Cover FX Mattifying Primer and the thing about this primer that I like that it does have an anti-acne treatment for people that do have problematic skin, bonus. And I'm just going to rub that in the areas where I'm most oily. So like over here, over here. So since I have a large pores right above my cheek here, I like to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores and it looks like this. It's just a thin powder that will help block and blur out the pores and I also like to use this because since it is a thin powder, it's also going to help us block out any oil that will come through. I'm just going to put that where I have my enlarged pores, so like right around here. I'm dying <coughs> for foundation I'm going to be using the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless in the shade 120 this is good if you have oily skin but if you if you produce extra oils through the summer I suggest you using the L'Oreal infallible pro matte this is really really good really really good for now I'm just going to be using the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless the brush that I'm going to be using to apply my foundation is just this Morphe brush this doesn't have a name, but if you're interested, I'll leave it below in the description box for you. Bounce, bounce, bounce on that face. Make sure you bring that down the neck. You don't want your face to be a different color from your neck. This is going to be obvious if you don't want that. I went to Ulta the other day. The lady told me, some people that was presenting a brand told me that I was like really, really, really blanca, white. And that uh, I needed to get some vitamin D. Sun. I'm going to go over the foundation with a beauty blur just to make sure that everything is smooth and even. I don't like to put foundation right below my eyes over here because we are going to put concealer there and no matter if you set your face, if you have like a lot of product right under your eyes, it's going to crease over time and I don't want that to happen. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Waterproof Concealer. This is so good if you want to slay or day okay i'm just going to apply that evenly right below my eyes a lot of people go ham with concealer and i'm just like hey me huh slow down blend that right there make sure you blend the edges you don't want any harsh line with concealer Believe me, I learned. Now I'm just gonna apply that a little bit in the chin, a little bit in the cupid's bow, and a little bit in the forehead. Down the bridge of the nose. I'm going to take the RMCA No Color Powder. This is life in a bottle. I really, really love this to set the concealer under my eyes. This is bomb. This is better than the airspun, in my opinion. I'm going to take the Morphe R13 and set that under eye. Set anywhere that we put concealer. We don't want that crease, girl. It's on all that, yo. And we're just going to bake. Little, little little bake 
we don't want that much since we already put the waterproof concealer on and that is really drying. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Butter Skin Powder and I am in the color Porcelain. This is really bomb. Like that kind of bomb. I'm going to be using the Morphe M439 brush. Ideally, this is for like liquid foundation, but I like to put this with the Maybelline Butter Skin. It gets the job done. And while we put this on our face, we're just going to pat the bake away. We're going to stop with the face for now and we're going to get started with the eyes. My feet is falling asleep. <laughs> Uh, to prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Concealer. You can use any concealer that you have using the Morphe R33 brush just to buffer that all over our lid. And the brow bone, a little bit outwards because we're going to be putting eyeshadow there as well. We're going to set it with the RMCA powder. Okay, so this is a look that I just created right now and I am absolutely so in love with it i think this is just the perfect look if you want like pop of colors to summer before i get started i'm going to be putting the eos balm okay so let's get started for our transition color i'm going to take peach smoothie by makeup geek i think this is the perfect transition nude color that everyone must have this transition color is going to help all the colors come together and all blended and just make it look all seamless put that right below our brow bone and right above our crease bring that out just a little bit over here for our crease, I'm going to use the color Chickadee, also from Makeup Geek. I'm going to be using the Morphe M441 brush with that. Since I do have a hooded eye, I'm going to put Chickadee right above my natural fold so that when I'm looking straight at you, you can still see it pop through it right there. I'm just going to slightly build it up just a little tiny bit. I'm going to be taking the color Slim Fit by ColourPop. This is such a pretty pink coral color for summer. And that's a lot for me to say because I am not a pink person. But this color is so pretty for a summer look on the eyes. I'm going to be using the Morphe M433 brush. I'm going to apply that right under where we add the crease color, but above the fold as well. Every time that you see that you lost a color, go back to it and just add it slightly back. For example, I lost a little bit of chickadee. Same brush that we used to apply chickadee. Lightly add it back. Don't press. You don't want to press when you're blending. You want to slightly blend with light pressure. We're going to take the color Stay Golden by ColourPop. We're going to apply that in the inner and outer part of our lid. And I'm using the Morphe 321. Try not to cover the whole lid because we are going to put a shimmer shadow in the center. We put it in the outer and inner. You want to just take that and just blend it right above. Take any blending brush and just blend, slightly blend that. And I'm using the E17 just to blend this out. For the center of our eyes, we're going to be putting Untamed by Makeup Cake. I honestly feel like this is like a necessity shimmer shadow that everyone must have. I'm going to be taking the Morphe R43 brush to apply that. But right before we hit that pan, we're going to apply MAC Fix Plus right onto our brush so that it will pick up all the shimmers. Look how pretty that looks. Wow. I'm falling in love again. We're going to blend the edges out with a little bit of whatever is left of the brush that we used to put Stay Golden by ColourPop. For my lower line, I'm going to be using a sword from NYX Cosmetics. This is so pigmented. Look at that. Wow. 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 Look how pigmented that is. You need this. And I'm not just saying that because I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I am saying it because I love it. Who am I getting? Eh. Oh. It fell. The shadow that I'm going to be putting under that liner is Blue Zirkin by Coastal Scents. A lot of Coastal Scents shadows are not that great, but if you really look into it, you'll find some really great shadows for cheap. Save that coin. The brush that I'm using for that is just the E19 brush. 
to be using the Morphe E19 brush and with the same color, we're just going to wing that out slightly. Light strokes. To clean any shadows that we have under the liner, we're just going to take an any angle brush and some RCA powder and we're just going to swipe clean that girl. I did put some falsies off camera, but the pair they're wearing on my eyes right now are from House of Lashes and these are the pair North Fairy Lights. Of course, you could put whatever lashes that you want that to go with this look, but I prefer these. I did put mascara in my lower lash line and the mascara that I picked was the NYX Cosmetic in Pink Perfect and it's just really, really pink and it looks like that. So we're going to go back to the face and to bronze our face, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder bronzer in the collection Bronze Goddess. And it looks like this. Fish face. For blush, I'm going to be using the Morphe N9 palette. And I'm going to be using this color right here. The highlighter that I'm using, it is from Wet n Wild. And it's in the shade Precious Petals. With the Morphe R36 brush. And then we're going to cross the side of our temples. That also in the tip of our nose, down the bridge, and keep its bow. And on top of that highlighter, we're going to go in with the Laura Geller in Glided Honey. Oh! I'm gonna go in with lips, and for lips, I'm using the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the color Brunch. We're going to use NYX Cosmetics Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie. And now that we're done with the makeup, I'm going to go in with MAC Fix Plus to set our face. And this is just going to help all the products melt in our face for a smooth finish and leave no powder dust. And on top of that, we're going to be using the Skidinovia Finishing Spray Oil Control. And this is key. This is what's going to help everything come together and just lock it in place so that nothing comes through. Let it dry and we are done. All right, that is it for this colorful summer makeup look. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far in my first official video, please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it and comment below what is your favorite thing to do in the summer? I like to go to the beach with my family. This is just the beginning of a journey that I just started. I do have Twitter and Instagram under Yaya Elisa, Y-A-Y-A-E-L-I-S-A-A. -A -A. If you just want to get to know me in a personal level, I want to give a special thanks to my mom and my family for believing in me. I always wanted to do this ever since I was 12 and now that I finally can, I just want to give you guys thanks. Thank you for always having my back and supporting me no matter what decisions I make. Until next time, which is a couple days from now. Peace out. Thumbs up this video if you like makeup. Stop. Wait a minute. I want some fried chicken. Because your girl is so hungry. <laughs> I look funny. <laughs>